Hi, my name is Abhishek Matre. In this video, we'll talk about how to create virtual machines uh, through Azure CLI. Yes. So this is the link you can uh, visit and get the details of uh, about the virtual machine. But in a single line, I can tell you a virtual machine is a compute file, typically called an image, which behaves like an actual computer. It is not a real computer, but in fact, it is working like a computer inside your own existing system uh, under the uh, Azure as well. So, okay, this is the page where uh, you can get more detail about the virtual machine. You can create Linux, Windows, or any kind of virtual machine in second and reduce the cost. It's a great detail given here on the Microsoft official documentation. So this service, uh, if you are using the pay-as-you-go model, the costing would be this much. And if you are going through the reserved instances, so the cost would be really very, very less. And if you are going reserved instances plus Azure hybrid benefit, so you can get 80% of course benefit. It's creating resource group for me with the name of VMRG. Yeah, thing is ready. My new resource group is successfully created. Okay, next step is to um, create a virtual machine. So VM create resource group will be my this one which I have recently created and my name uh, name of my virtual machine it will be Win Server and I am taking the image this image is Win 2016 Data Center and the admin user name would be Azure user. Let's create. Once you hit this, it will ask for the administrative password from you and reconfirm it. Once you confirm it, it will create the new virtual machine with the name of Win Server under the Win, uh, VMRG resource group. The script has started running in the background. And let me tell you one thing at the time it is creating a virtual machine, there are various other resources would be spinning up. They would be created like virtual network, public IP, and uh, so many other things. So it will probably take time. In time, I can stop my video and come back to you. My virtual machine is ready as per the given instruction. I received this ID for this virtual machine and uh, the public IP is given 52.188.14 and 145. Please note it down somewhere. I am just copying it. Keep it uh, on the notepad somewhere. I just copied it. Right. My next step would be to uh, go inside the virtual machine and uh, call uh, slash v colon and the public IP which I have received after creating. As soon as I click on this, my virtual machine. It is asking me to log in into the virtual machine and with the appropriate username and password I can log in into. So my username was Azure user. Right, it is allowing me to go into the virtual machine. It is creating the profile for me because I am the first time user for this virtual machine. Here my virtual machine is now ready and you can see I logged in into my virtual machine and this is the first preview of uh, page of my virtual machine right so that is so easy to create the virtual machine and for this demonstration i am going to close this uh, virtual machine and deallocate this virtual machine before ending this session so that i can save my cost and uh, running billing vm stop resource group my current resource group and my virtual machine see right it has given me one instruction as well. Uh, after even uh, stopping, it the billing won't stop. So better to deallocate the virtual machine. My virtual machine has already been uh, stopped, but deallocate this so that you can save some cost and billing because in the background, it would continue charging the amount. So it is, it is currently into the process. Let this process be stopped. After that, we will deallocate it. Now I am in my Azure uh, portal and I can see this under this uh, resource group VMRG, uh, we have created Win Server virtual machine. Along with this, IS services would be spin up. So we have already stopped this and now the term to uh, deallocate this entirely. Okay, for this, we'll be using this command azvm deallocate 
dash dash resource group vmrg is the name of uh, resource group and the name of the virtual machine and click on this so it will deallocate completely so that my billing could also be stopped once it is successfully deallocated we can go into azure portal and can see the current status of my virtual machine this is my virtual machine stage and you see it is it is stopped and uh, deallocated as well here is the current state right so that is the simplest example of how to create virtual machine for azure cli how, so that is the last command i'm using after this the whole resource group would be deleted under which six or seven different services are were created thank you very much for this video it will be completed successfully as i believe you have to pass the instruction yes then and it's done thanks for watching this video uh, i expect you to come back with me in the another video thank you